Sorry, I already started to open it. I was excited. He sent me some stuff to try and put on my channel. Super clean, all wheel cleaner. Degreaser, we'll definitely use that. Uh, more degreaser. So we'll definitely use that. And then a shirt. Pretty nice shirt, actually. And the hat for my wife. So, I'll feature these on a project I have coming up. Alright, you guys. It's Friday, February 16th, something. 15th, 16th. So, we got the tank out, as you can see. I need to see what this does as far as what it does in the tank. Now, I may weld a, a bung here so that we can put a fitting in here and then just let the other tank draw into this one with a one-way check valve. But as you can see, everything's really dirty on top and we're gonna use this super clean. It says it dissolves rust super easy and fast. Uh, sorry, excuse me, grease. And uh, we're gonna use this super clean. It uh, dissolves grease super fast. I'll get all this cleaned up so that we're not knocking any dirt inside this tank. We're gonna pull the sending unit out and get a look inside here. And I'm thinking we're gonna put this hat uh, probably somewhere right here down into the tank. So let's get this, uh, let's get this degreaser going got a spray and a stream so we want spray super clean sent me this stuff to try out so I'm gonna try it out and see how good it works we'll get this on there let it set up for a second then I'll wipe it off I'm gonna have to grab a new hose here as well. Uh, this is the hose that was on it. And as you can see, it's seen better days. Um, it's start, you can see the cracks on the inside. Like right here, you can really see that one. So this, I don't know, this might be the original one. It's pretty much down skis. We'll let this set up for a sec. Get all this dirt off. All this grease. It'd be nice if this tube went into the tank and down to the bottom then we could should be able to use that as a gravity feed. If not then I'll fill this tank with water get all the fumes out of it and we'll weld a, a bung to this thing so that that front tank can be filled up and we'll slowly just feed into this one. Seems to be doing a good job. A little more on there. Started talking with my neighbor how we were gonna make a ring and weld a ring to this. But I think I may just drill a hole, <coughs> excuse me, and then put some, uh, I've got some stainless steel rib nuts, put some rib nuts in this tank and then bolt that hat on. If it becomes an issue, then I'll see if Ryan can cut me a, or I can probably do it. Just cut a, something, like a big washer and I can weld that, or a big uh, round circle and I can weld that to the tank. I almost wonder if we can move this thing. We can install this like this. Oh yeah. 
just turn this and put our fill pump over here because that'll be on the right side for doing what we're trying to do. the other night and made this little cheater. That's where we're going to go. So... Need to make sure my hole saw is the right size because obviously we want we want to have enough surface area that this gets a good good flat contact. So I need to check and make sure that my hole saw is going to be big enough to get this fuel pump through. I had Greg order this 340. which will be more than enough and the right pressure for what we need to do. So, I'll be back when I go check my hole saws. All right. got the bit it's gonna be a two and an eighth inch hole saw but first we're gonna get the pilot hole drilled here fishing that out.
So this one's 1024. And I always seem to break these ones. So I just ordered two more. But that seems like it bought, it bit. We got all that done, of course. We need to wash this thing out and make sure that there's no metal in it. There is a sock on the bottom of this pump, but I'm gonna take this thing out uh, over here and we're gonna wash it out and make sure we can get most all the metal that's in there out. All right, I'm gonna douche this down again with Super Clean. We'll let this thing sit outside, let the sun get it, and uh, dry some of it out. I'm gonna go get some WD-40. to get the pump on the hanger but before we do that I noticed that let's see, I noticed that uh, the other pump that Greg gave me had this this deal on it basically over the tip of the pump like this and I've got some hot water so the pump that he had initially gave me had that sleeve and that's so that when it goes in here it's tight so we're gonna dip this in here and let this get and I've already done the measurements from the bottom of the tank to the top and then we'll uh, clip the sock onto the bottom of this thing when we're ready I also need to make a gasket I ran a Home Depot and got some material to make a gasket for not only the fuel pump hat but for this thing too
like that. And I'll clamp that thing on there. We'll use this special pliers to clamp this on. All right, good morning, y'all. It is Saturday the 16th, 17th, whatever. Look at the calendar. February, two hours to go find this. Auto parts stores are, you know, everybody complains about, oh, everybody wants to order stuff and, and they don't want to use local businesses. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. I went into AutoZone and asked for filler neck hose. This one is done. It's, it's seen better days. It's rock hard and it's cracked. Um, the gentleman at the auto parts store, rather than knowing that, I mean, some places just carry this by bulk, has to know what year the car is, this and that. None of that matters. Um, sometimes, if you're gonna work in the business of auto parts, maybe you should know that, yeah, what size is that? Is it inch and three quarter, inch and a half, inch and seven eighths, two inch. So, needless to say, uh, it took me three auto parts stores before I found what I needed. 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a one feet, one foot of this stuff. And two hours of my time gone. So anyways, uh, I'm going to get uh, the phone actually on the charger because it's a little bit low. Uh, Greg asked that I would check underneath here and make sure that the nuts that the seat rear seat bolted into were welded. And so, um, yeah, they are in, they are in their factory holes, it looks like. So, I don't need to worry about that. And what I'm going to do is get the rest of this tank dressed up so that we can get it in. And what I mean by that is um, getting an end on this, getting the two hoses built that come out here so I can actually fish this thing up in there and then we can hook and go forward with what we're doing. And then um, we need to put a new end here and a new ground for the float or the, the level sensor. So while I'm doing all that, um, cause it's kind of boring, I'm gonna let the phone charge and then I'll get back with you in a moment. All right, got the phone charged and got the tank reassembled and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. So we are all tied up here with our vent, our fuel pump, wiring harness, and then our return, our supply. And we put an end on this. We gotta terminate the other ends for the factory harness. But this will give whoever works on this thing again the ability to unplug all of this and get this tank out rather than dropping it down like I did and ripping the wires out and, you know. So I'm gonna set the camera up and try and fish this thing back in there.